subscribe to bootstrap station if you haven't and today we are going to edit config.plist file in any of the windows versions like you want to edit open core or clover configurations and many more so download the latest release from this website on the top you will see the latest and in the assets you can see this file plist add plus so just click on this file and now it is downloading and download is complete let me open it and here we have the downloaded file so open the compressed file here and you can see lot of files are there so we just have to extract this folder so let me extract it right here itself now let me open it in a new window and if you scroll down you will see this file plist add plus dot e x e now double click on this file and here you will see the software let me quickly open one config dot plist file right here so just have to drag and drop this file into this plist editor plus software and you can see the configuration and if you want you can change them to anything you want right so making them true false or whatever you want to do you can do it and after you have done the changes you can go to file and click on save or just press ctrl plus s in the keyboard you can also search for any entries like clicking on this search icon here you can find like i want to search for ps2 and press enter now it will be showing you all the places in this config.plist file which contains the word ps2 right by clicking on these from the right you will be brought to the particular line and let me show you one more thing creating a copy of it so dragging and dropping another file into the same window will make it open in a new tab inside this software so let's say i want to copy this input key with the type of dictionary so right click on it and click on copy now go to the another config.plist file where you want to copy this so as you can see these all are expanded so what i am going to do is click on edit and click on expand or collapse all by clicking on this button again they will be collapsed so now it was in uefi the input entry so i am going to expand this uefi and let me delete this previous entry so right click remove now it was inside uefi so right click on uefi and click on paste as child and here we have the input dictionary you can bring it down so it was right here so in this way you can copy from one plist file to another and make sure that whenever you are copying or pasting from different plist files they all must be opened in one single window itself like in this window itself they must be opened and now you can just save this file and for linux and mac os you can watch the videos in the description so please subscribe to bootstrap station and that's it for now thank you for watching now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel and watch another video to discover more.